Hi everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my craft room. I had mentioned yesterday that I was um, kind of itching to do some Christmas projects. So I was thinking about my December daily from last year. Now this was Elizabeth Craft Designs. And um, here's just some of it. And they're running this again this year. Uh, and I'm not sure if I want to do it officially or I want to kind of make my own. Now going through this, I figured it would make or break my decision one way or the other. And I'm feeling like maybe I'll do something on my own, right? I could do something like this. I have the dies from last year. I have the, um, this is a sidekick. You can pick that up for like 20 bucks. Um, a couple of these inserts. What, didn't I do anything on the 29th? Did I not finish this? <laughs> the 30th, 29th, 30th. Um, and I have a list here, so yeah, I may not have anything for that. So I don't know, I'm not sure, but what I did yesterday and what I want to share with you is I thought I was going to go on to Etsy and find um, Pink Christmas, and I did. Um, I wasn't sold either way, but I ended up last, I went on a couple times, like three different times, and then I'm like, um, let me try, what the heck is her name, Maisie Art? I forget and it's not on here I'll link it below why am I I know it Art Maisie is that right Art Arts Artie Maze Artie Maze that's it what a, all right so and I picked this kit I'm sure it's last year's but I really loved it um, I love this so what I could do honestly is use craft paper and cut out the um, the pages for the December day by day. They call it December day by day. I call it a December daily. And I could get two easily. Let me see, I have them right here because I use them from time to time. Here they are. This is last year's stamps. or die cuts, so I could get one, two, I couldn't get three, but I could get two. I could probably do three if I was really careful. Do two sideways and one long ways. So it'd have to be something like this that it wouldn't matter so much. And you're gonna cover a lot of it, but I thought this was pretty. So the base of the December day by day last year is actually the paper. Um, like for instance, this is this is kind of sideways. Well, I'd hate to break up that. So I would probably do something like that and then that and that. Um, it was cardstock, so there wasn't a base to it. So I could even, no, I couldn't do that. But this is so pretty, I mean, why not? This I could get three out of. One, like just three. All right, here's Sky. Of course, he has to come and run in when he hears me. He thinks I'm talking to him. He's like, who is mommy talking to? And he needs to lay in the thing next to me. And then I have all these cute little, I'd have to, I don't want to cut out all the numbers like last year. I think I have, I was just going through all my Christmas stuff and something actually has 25 numbers, I think round. Sky, come on babies. Oh, love this boy, you can watch. All right, you can sit on me and watch. No, he's not going to go for that. But I love the birds. 
I love the, the red and white, I mean red and green, traditional colors. So it's really, sorry guys, it's something for me to think about. Um, because I could, I wish I had that paper. See, I think I would still back this on like a card stock or something. I'm just thinking this through with you guys. So, what I would do is I would take the card stock that's like this color. This. Now he's climbing in the drawer that I'm opening. Of course he is. Of course he is. Or goofball don't be digging now he's digging for this color i think i would like that one better i would probably have enough too i mean i have another pack of this they're similar i don't think they're the same so i would need to cut out 15 30 plus the front 31 15 six i would need to cut out 17 of these right a cover page 31 days and a back page so yeah i would need to cut out 31 of these with this die oh and then some of them see this is how i could definitely fit that many on this page because then i could do the smaller the inside one would I do this in like green or red? What do you guys think? I don't even know if this is like a posting video, <laughs> to be honest with you. I go on vacation tomorrow and I'm just, I was driving around this morning doing my errands and I'm like, well, what kind, this is what I do. What kind of like cover do I want to make for this? I have to make more um, coffee dyed paper to line these with because it's like 32 pound. It's not cardstock. And I mean, I could put it on that easily. Um, and then I'm like, why don't I do a December daily with this? Why not? Oh my gosh, she's in the bag of trash now. Because it's so pretty and it's already like partially done. I honestly thought I was going to do, go through my one last year and be blown away and going, oh, I want to sign up again. And it's it's like $85, $89, but it's worth it. You get the sidekick, you get the dies, you get a stamp set, you get the paper, and on October 31st, you get the um, class, which is really fun with the neck green. She's she's a lot, she's fab. She's really fabulous. But, um, you know, do I really need to do it? Like I have all this. I could mix red and green in there. Wow, this is a whole packet of this color. So I could even like do this color, a red page, a green page with cardstock. <laughs> Let me see if I can find those numbers. I'll be right back. All right, here it is. So it goes up to 24 and then Merry Christmas. Um, I would probably cut out the squares and then do a circle punch because I think these are a little big. I don't want to go through cutting out all those numbers. Although, was it that awful? No. Yeah, see, this is, these are smaller. That would take up so much of the page. So, I don't know. It is cute, right? Hmm. I don't know. But I would look at this to get ideas for sure. Um, I could cut out all the numbers, honestly, and then do a circle punch. It would be a lot smaller. Like these I have the tickets. I do have another Elizabeth Craft. I bought it at the um, scrapbook show. But it's not for the sidekick, it's for the big one. And I don't wanna do the big one for this, but I do have the tabs I can use. I can use this. I had cut this, I'd use this for something. 
Um, these are the numbers here. They're a little more, probably be, they're a little more cursive looking. Not that numbers are cursive. I should say like italicized. I don't know. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Either way, they are a lot of work, <laughs> no doubt. Um, I just feel like I could do it. And I think this is so pretty. I think, this, I think these are too big. But um, I think this paper is gorgeous. And it comes with so many little decorative things. That I think this is what I want to do. Do my own. I think it is. So, I think I'm going to get started cutting out my, what did I say, 17 pages with this. What a pain. But once that's done, and once, once it's a lot of cutting. Um... I really thought after last year I would have like a Gemini or something. See how pretty that is? And that would be like a page. And then I'd move it over and then I'd have some of these other things for um, decoration. And then I have to glue this onto the card stocks. Hmm, I'm very indecisive what I wanna do. But I think I'm going to do that. Why not, right? This was expensive. I printed this at um, Staples, and it came to like almost $20. I really need to invest in a printer. But anyhow, um, thanks for joining me today for pretty much nothing. Um, me figuring this stuff out. Figuring where I'm going from here. What I'm going to do about a December day-to-day and this paper, unless I just want to make a regular journal with this, which would be also super pretty. But what's nice about once you um, do a download from Etsy, a digital download, I can get this reprinted for a journal if I just want to do that. I was thinking the Tim Holtz, um, the Tim Holtz fabric for this year, the 2023 fabric would go so nicely. I'm pretty sure with this. I'm not going to use these pages, I don't think. Um, so anyhow, that's it, guys. I'm heading to Rhode Island. Very excited. Getting through all my chores today and things. I thought I'd just jump on, show you this paper pack I um, purchased from Etsy, a digital download. And um, I, I probably won't have anything to post Thursday unless I do like a short from Rhode Island. Um and I'll see you when I get back. I'll definitely do Saturday and Sunday, all right? Have a great day, everyone.